Wow, stories. My ex crashes, my sister's wedding, and heirs are dirty laundry. So I expose their secrets online and watch as their reputation crumbles. I wanted to talk about how technology has changed the way we communicate. Social media has made it so easy to connect with people all over the world. It's amazing how you can have friends from different countries and interact with them every day. We can even video chat with people on the other side of the globe. It's like the world has become a smaller place and we can reach out to anyone at any time. Not only has technology made communication faster and more convenient, but it has also given us new ways to express ourselves. We can now share our thoughts and ideas with a much larger audience through blogs and vlogs. It's incredible how a single post or video can go viral and be seen by millions of people. However, there are also drawbacks to this increased connectivity. With the rise of social media, cyberbullying has become a major issue. People can hide behind a screen and say hurtful things to others without facing any consequences. This has led to an increase in anxiety and depression among young people. Another concern is the loss of privacy. With everything being shared online, it's hard to keep anything private. Our personal information is constantly being collected and used for targeted advertising. It's important to be cautious about what we share online and to protect our privacy. Despite these challenges, I believe that technology has overall had a positive impact on communication. It has brought people closer together and given us the ability to connect in ways that were never possible before. We just need to be mindful of the potential risks and use technology responsibly. Overall, I'm excited to see how technology will continue to shape the way we communicate in the future. Now for a few comments before the update. Comment one. She blacked out. No, she cheated on you. Even if all her lies were truths, she still chose to hang out with some guy all night. The trust is gone and your marriage is over. You'll either realize it now or you'll waste more time figuring it out. Comment two, a loyal person wouldn't make you doubt for a second. She would have left like the married friend, respectfully declining the invite. Two single men and a single woman? Okay, sure. I can't believe people put entire relationships at risk for one night. Now for the update, thanks for all the comments on my last post. So let me tell you about this week. It started off with a bang, literally. My ex, who I thought I'd left in the dust, decided to crash my sister's wedding. Right in the middle of the vows, doors flew open and there she was. Like a scene straight out of a movie, yelling about how I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. Talk about a mood unalived. Turns out, she'd been holding onto letters I wrote years ago. Love letters full of promises and dreams, stuff I'd forgotten about. She'd kept them all this time, and now she was waving them around, telling everyone how I'd lied and cheated my way out of our relationship. My family was shocked. My sister was in tears, and I was standing there, feeling like the world's biggest jerk. But wait, it gets worse. My current girlfriend was at the wedding too. She saw everything and she's not the type to let things slide. She confronted me right there, demanding the truth. I tried to explain, to tell her those were just words from a past life, but she wasn't having any of it. She dumped me on the spot in front of everyone. I guess I had that coming. The aftermath was a mess. My sister's wedding was ruined. My ex was satisfied with the chaos she'd caused and I was left picking up the pieces of my now very public breakup. My family was disappointed, and I could see it in their eyes. The trust was broken. I tried to apologize, but sorry didn't cut it this time. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, my boss called. He'd heard about the wedding fiasco. News travels fast in small towns. He said he couldn't have someone with my reputation working for him. So just like that, I lost my job. It felt like everything was crashing down around me. I spent the next few days trying to lay low, but my ex wasn't done with me yet. She'd taken to social media, posting those old letters for the world to see. My phone was blowing up with messages from friends, acquaintances, even people I hadn't spoken to in years, all wanting to know if it was true. 
if I was really that guy. In a desperate move, I went to see my ex. I begged her to stop, to let me move on with my life. But she was hurt, and she wanted me to feel that hurt too. She told me she'd stop on one condition. I had to publicly admit to everything I'd done, to own up to my past. So I did. I made a post, explained my side, and admitted to my mistakes. It was humiliating, but it was the only way to get her to back off. The response was mixed. Some people appreciated the honesty. Others said I got what I deserved. Either way, it was out there, and I had to live with it. The week ended with me sitting alone in my apartment. No girlfriend, no job, and a family that could barely look at me. I realized that no matter how far you run, your past has a way of catching up with you. And when it does, it can tear your world apart. I've got a lot of making up to do, a lot of apologies to hand out. It's going to be a long road back, if there even is a way back. But I guess this is what happens when you don't deal with things the right way the first time around.